Hi guys, Sean Levy, director of Deadpool and Wolverine. I hope you've seen the movie. I hope you've loved the movie. I hope you're gonna go see the movie again. But in the meantime, don't spoil the surprises. Give other viewers the same joy of discovery that you had. Thanks. <laughs> Everybody knows. How did you manage to keep the script a secret? And uh, were the other actors able to read it in its entirety? We really felt from the beginning that the delight of this movie would be based in surprise in giving audiences something unexpected. I have a little experience with that because I've been doing this show Stranger Things for the last many years, but Marvel is really hardcore with their security protocols and you do not get a script on paper. Most of the actors did not even get the entire script. The only exception is I didn't want to make a movie on a soundstage. I didn't want to make a movie with CGI everywhere. So we went out into the world and we filmed scenes outside to give the movie a raw authenticity. That's Wolverine. You're damn straight it is. Disney brought him back. They're gonna make him do this till he's 90. We were able to do a lot of this shoot in actual secrecy, but there was that one sequence uh, where we shot in a quarry. And one day we were filming and we looked up and we saw this small army of paparazzi uh, and so literally that day is the day we released a picture of the suits. Because if people are gonna see what the red and yellow look like, we wanted them to see it in the right way. Uh, go f yourself. And Ryan did directly post to his 100 million followers, let's protect some secrets. Because I promise those surprises will be worth it in now two weeks when the world finally sees Deadpool and Wolf. What's the craziest fan theory you have read on social media? I am nervous to answer that. I feel like I've read so many insane theories online, but if I tell you which one is the craziest, then it will confirm that it's not true. And I don't want to confirm or deny anything because we're almost there. It's almost the end of July and finally audiences will see the whole movie. So I'm going to resist answering that question and preserve all possible surprises. She's coming with us. No, she's not. Oh, yes. She is. No. Oh, yeah. If you have to choose between Deadpool and Wolverine, who did you choose? Wow, as a friend, as an enemy, as a teammate, the truth is I've pretty clearly made my choice. I choose both. I choose Ryan and Hugh, uh, which is why I have more pictures of the three of us smiling and hugging than any other two males in my entire life, including my brothers. Um, I would say they are two great choices.